Hello and welcome back to Draw Toys. This is another episode of Monkey Madness March. Uh, <laughs> thanks. I, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the budget to uh, to pay for high quality monkey noises, so we're just gonna have to go with that for now. Uh, right. Yeah, so yeah, this is a continuation. We've done one already, uh, themed around everyone's favourite simian mammals, monkeys. Uh, and today I have even more monkeys for us to draw. Well, I say even more. It'll be the same amount as last episode. We're going we're gonna to draw two. Um, so before I get into that, I'm joined, obviously, with my three talented monkey guests. We have Monkey Dan. Hello. We have Monkey Tim. <laughs> and we... <laughs> And we have Monkey Tom. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, unfortunately, the real Dan, Tom and Tim are away somewhere, so they've had to be replaced by monkeys for this episode. But, as always, uh, Draw Toys, uh, I'll, I'll briefly go through the rules, it is a kind of drawing art podcast thing uh, where I post an image that is chosen by these guys. They don't know what image is going to be. Once it's posted, we are then given three time frames, 30 seconds, two minutes and ten minutes in order to draw that character. It doesn't have to be exactly accurate. It does have to be that character, but creativity is encouraged. And that's about it. And then we sort of give it each piece of title and sort of talk about it. And then the end of the podcast, uh, and then you guys can go on your way. So, without further ado and without any more preamble... Last time, I had ten monkeys to, for you to choose from. This time, I have nine. So I've replaced two monkeys that we used last time. Wait, no, I've replaced one monkey that we used last time. Never mind, I'm bad at maths. So, uh, like last time, I want you guys as a group to decide on a number between one and nine. Two. It has to be two. I reckon two is, is a good number. Number two. Go on in. Go in number, number two. two. Number two? All right, then. Throw in some poo. Number two, throwing some poo. Uh, which monkeys do do. However, it is not very polite <laughs> to <laughs> typify <laughs> all of them to do that. It, only some of them do, and, you know, so don't, don't go discriminating against monkeys. Anyway, here is the monkey we will be drawing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Dan, can you tell us what this creature is? Well, I can tell you what in it isn't. It's uh, <laughs> Dan, we've not only, a group key. Dan, we've we've only got like fifty minutes for the uh, for the podcast. That that could go on for hours. Anyway, okay, let's. So the the reason I asked Dan is uh, of all of us, Dan is the he's. I think it's safe to say he's the least into Pokemon out of all of us. Um, but oh. I. I've posted on the screen here the Gen 2 Pokemon and briefly Ash's companion in the anime, I believe. It is Apom, the, the monkey Pokemon thing. I know, Apom makes me uncomfortable. Well, I hope you'll become more comfortable over the next 12 and a half minutes because we're going to go off now and draw him over that period of time and then we'll return as usual. Uh, right, see you in a minute. And we are back. Twelve and a half minutes have elapsed. We have tried our best to draw this <laughs> smiley monkey boy that you see on screen in front of you now. And, uh, well, the results, by the sounds of everyone's exclamation of, Oh God! Oh, there's not enough time! <laughs> probably ended really well. So, uh, as is traditional, we're going to go post our stuff now. And we'll critique it. So, I will start off the rounds as usual. So, my first one, I will call my first one Monk slash E. Oh God, it looks like a like a bear. Would you like a comb, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like an E? <laughs> I did not have time. Basically, I had time to either draw the face or colour it. So, chose wisely and drew and very good. And you did neither. <laughs> uh, yes, basically. Yeah, it's you know you if you if you squinted really hard, you could tell it was ambipom. Uh, yeah, apom even. Oh yeah, apom. Sorry, not ambipom. 
Uh, right. Next up, I call R Pom. <laughs> what is he a pirate? Right. So, a slight bit of explaining here. So, I drew him and I started colouring and, you know, uh, filling everything in in colour. And his left eye turned out black and I had five seconds to rectify it. <laughs> so, I had five seconds with a pen and just drew on some things because he's a pirate monkey, okay? Not all apoms are born equal, you know? Some of them have issues. <laughs> Clearly. So that is, that's pirate apom. And the last one, I call a day at the tournament. I like... I oh, I don't I know like what that. fully. Yeah, it's uh, well. Basically, I started drawing Apom, uh, you know, using using a fight stick, and then realised like oh, I've got like five minutes left. I mean, I can colour him in, but there's fuck all going on in the background. So like, I'll give him an opponent. Although saying that, are we what? the what? Like that's the thing. We we're not sure what they're playing, but it does look like you know Apom is looking straight at us. Are we? The are they, is he game. Up? Wait, yeah, is he controlling oh. us, dude? Who is Tangela controlling? That's the real question. That could be another dimension. That's talking about other dimensions. I'm just gonna be sof- the most sophisticated gentleman in the room. But does his tail remind you of a plumbus from Rick and Morty? <laughs> oh, oh shit! That is a hundred percent a plumbus. Yeah, but uh, Apom rocked it first. You know, flexing your IQ on us all that. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Ten thousand IQ. Uh, so remember to subscribe to him and Tortoise for more epic Rick and Morty references uh, in future as well. <laughs> No, we won't be doing that. Well, you <laughs> won't. The next draw, Toys will be just us drawing the pickle wrecks. Yeah, oh, and explaining man. how like euphoric that episode is. You know how mm-hmm. how deep it is. Yeah, you guys wouldn't understand. No, uh, you need a high IQ. Right, who would like to offer up their apom creations next? Yeah, go on. All right. Then. I'll, uh... Right, so. The first one I call Dead Monkey. Oh dear. Oh, oh okay. That Yes, he, he looks both dead oh. and run over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ran out of time, time, so it's like, hasn't got a face, so I'm just going to make him dead. Rest in peace, mm-hmm. Apom. Wow. Emo Pom. <laughs> so the second one I'm really annoyed with, because if I... A few seconds more, I would have been able to finish it. But I'm going to call it See You No Evil. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would have been solid if it had eyes. Oh, oh that's... Uh, <laughs> oh, I really don't like that. That's... <laughs> Slightly terrifying. Yeah, it's making me feel uneasy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like... This oh. is um, actually what... Game Freak looked at for the um, inspiration for the Gen 5 monkeys. Yeah. Uh, well, well they, they do represent see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. So. Yeah. Well, have you seen uh, Pan's Labyrinth? You know, the <laughs> <laughs> the guy that comes up and his hands are eyes. It'd be... <gasps> his eyes are on his tail. Yeah. Oh, giant mm. hands, plumbus tail. Oh, if someone wants to draw us that. Send it in. No. I don't. I don't know how you're no, going to send don't. it in, uh, but you know, give it a whirl. So the last one, I, I don't know what to call it. Maybe a pom. Ah, that's oh. really yeah. That's really oh. good. That's all right. He looks like he's about to give me a real nice hug. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, son. You've done. You've done well today. I know. Like you've added a little blue tint to the eyes, so it kind of looks like. Apom is like really happy and is about to cry. Well, really I know proud of his son. I know it's on the art you saying he had like blue in his eyes and oh yeah he does. I never spotted yeah, that. Yeah, so I thought little highlight at the bottom. You've uh, you've extended his fingers a bit. Uh, his, sorry, his hand, his tail fingers. If that makes any sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest, like. 
right on the edge with that. So I was quite pleased I finished it in time. But it's, well, uh, it's all right. Yeah, that, that was definitely a pop. Right, who who would like to go next with their EPOM offerings? Um, I'll go uh, then. All right. Um, so I call this one EPOM ellipse now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> oh good grief! Although That's a squirrel, I'm sorry that is a squirrel. Although actually, right, it reminds me a little bit of the Nazca desert lines. You know where they like drew animals in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah, I, I could see that superimposed on like a desert being like, and this was the ancient squirrel monkey. And you have like some like like tourists and or, or like in shock and the, as they scribble everything down, you know, like Reese. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I can really see the uh, the, yeah, the 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 fingers on its tail. What the fuck you want about Dorothy? I I don't know. <laughs> you got the shape though, Dan. Well done. Yeah. Fair play. And I think I think that's what the thirty seconds is about, trying to get the shape. Yes. <laughs> the, yeah, basically. Basically, as quick as you can. So this next one is called a pominator. Ooh. Actually oh, that ain't bad. Some shit. <laughs> it ain't bad though. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It's definitely Apom. He just looks traumatised. Like, his arms and his leg... Is his body transparent? I don't... He looks like... You know, in, like, a TV programme where, like, there's a doll and someone puts someone's uh, someone's life into the doll and then they're trapped <laughs> inside the doll forever and they look terrified? That's, that's what I'm getting from this picture. And Basically... also really long legs. <laughs> if... If I had to describe this picture in two words and I only had like a min- uh, like a few seconds to describe it, would be crack monkey. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine it. <laughs> I can imagine it with one of those fucking terrifying looking monkeys. With the terrifying faces with the symbols. Do you know what I mean? Uh, oh God, yeah, yeah, like the toys that go... Oh, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Yeah. yeah, thanks, Dan. But I... those, those, those look fucking terrifying. Those are weird. Honestly, yeah. uh, be, I can imagine being trapped in a room with that picture and Tom's uh, Isla Sapom and just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Horror film time. And to finish her off, I got the Ape Palm All Natural. Oh, yo. Oh. That's oh, really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> I, that is a hefty a bomb. I really like that, Dan. I like genuinely it's, really it's like that. Yeah. Yo, that that it's genuinely a... looks like it could be like well, maybe not official card art, but you know when they get like the kind of strange looking Pokemon cards of like hey outsider yes. art. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I I really like it though. That's genuinely really cool. Fair play. This could be Gigantamax Apom. Just yes. say it's Game Freak if you want to take note. Hey, there we are. Big, huge Gigantamax Apom. Beautiful. I can hear Beautiful. the football crowds chanting already. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Right, I think, Tim, you are the last up. Yes, that does leave me. Um, my first one, uh, I'd like to call... You want me, Apom? No. <laughs> oh, ooh, he's an angry boy. He looks like you've stolen something from him and he wants it back. Yeah, I love the ears. Why does it remind me of Pinky and the Brain? Oh God, yeah, it's... <laughs> it looks like it's the outline of Brain. Yeah, holy it crap! Is. Well done, what Tim. Do do today? Same thing we always do. Try and you... catch all the Pokemon. A cup, a little bit of touch up. That yeah. could be Brain. Wow, well done, Tim, for subconsciously. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely intentional. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And the next yeah, one's going to be a really lanky apom that's like tall and thin. <laughs> um, the next one I call apom. Oh, hey, well, I like it. That is genuinely for two minutes. That's really good. Yeah, it's really good. I Although I, I would I, say I, you'd hand around with the the previous mentioned. Crack, was it crack, crack monkey. monkey? And 
And no eyes monkey. <laughs> and no eyes monkey. I think they'd make a trio. <laughs> but like, like, he'd be the leader. <laughs> but yeah. And pirate monkey. Oh my god. If you put them all in the same picture. That, that. They are oh. a gang. They're, they're friends, but like, no one else is friends with them, but they're friends with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, my last one uh, I like to call Nana's Pom. Ah, <laughs> yay! Hey, another piece of Pokemon art featuring another Pokemon. Oh, there you go. And you've I like... ran out of time to colour the hand properly, so it kind of looks like a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's nice, though. I mean, so here's a question, right? Tropius grows bananas. If you pick them, do they grow back? How long do they take to grow back? No, it is screaming agony whenever you yeah. pick one of those bananas off a tree. That's his flesh. Oh, oh, well. I'll keep that in mind, I suppose. Yeah, they don't taste very well. Like, very good, rather, either. It, it really, yeah. it's unfortunate that they've evolved to uh, grow parts of themselves that look like a food. Usually yeah. it's the other way round. Like, <laughs> you know, plants will grow food that doesn't look like food, but... I really like the Tropius as well. It looks like he's wearing a bit of a hoodie. I don't know why, but it's like... It's the kitchen. Yeah, yes. Tropius. <laughs> but no, that's, re- that's really bananas. cute. That's very you awesome. Know, I, I've noticed, right. Tim, you have quite, like, a, a style. You always have a like similar style on your third picture. It's a style. It's a like a, style. A, a... It looks like paintbrush, you know. Yeah, you know, it's like your yeah. own Bob the, Ross. Uh, the, the special paint tools. Yeah. But only when I have time for them. Yeah, I, I really like it though. I mean, I, it does feel like we are all kind of like developing a style, as it were, you know, which is which is nice, I think. A unique art, yeah. I mean, for, I mean, if you go up close, you're like, yeah. And then when you move out, you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> It looks great. From the further away you get, the better it looks. Exactly. Once you're out of the room and you've closed the door, it looks amazing. I mean, that's, you could say that with most art. It's like from afar, it looks good. And then, I mean, I, I can imagine if you went up really close to the Mona Lisa, you'd be like, uh, you know, it's not a bit terrible. I mean, <laughs> I mean, to get to get really really technical, I think partly it's because of our. Um, it's what our brains do when we fill in blanks we're unsure of. So the further away from a piece you are, the more your imagination has to make up the rest of it, if that makes sense. So what you're yeah, saying is our up. brain is... Yes, well, I mean, your then... brain shows you what you most want to sort of see out of something. What you'd expect. Yeah. Mm. Is that yeah. really... In... Is that, like, semi-related to the whole people seeing faces on things? Yes. Yeah, it's um, basically humans just have like an intrinsic thing of kind of your imagination making up for something that either doesn't make sense to you or you can't define well enough. Yeah, like there was that face on Mars, you know, everyone. Yeah. It's just a few craters, basically. No, whose whose actual face was on it? It was like oh, oh, you're talking about the Sunday sport thing. Yeah. Oh, what was it? Ah. It was like some Mayan British celebrity. Yeah, they uh, like photoshopped or something. If I find it, I'll pop it up on screen here. But yeah, that was. Um, who was that? Oh, I'm I'm googling it. We'll we'll do some. Liz Dennis. There we go. Liz Dennis. That's the one. Uh, so Put that, that picture. That'll up. be on screen at the moment. I'm sure of the Les Dennis moon face. <laughs> Uh, right, moving swiftly on, and with no relation to Les Dennis. I'm sorry, all the Les Dennis fans watching Draw Toys. Um, you never know; someone might like Family Fortunes. M- maybe. Uh, right. Well, on the topic of Family Fortunes, we've got eight monkeys left. So, can you guys come to a unanimous decision on what number between one and eight you would like to pick for our final uh, picture for this episode? Seven, I reckon. Nice. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay. I'm happy yeah. to debate. Seven yeah. it is then. Uh, posting on screen right now is monkey number seven, a power wild oh. from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, okay. 
Okay. So, okay. Uh, for those not in the know, obviously in Kingdom Hearts you fight the Heartless a lot. And this is a Power Wild, which you see in, I think, Tarzan's uh, level. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. Two so, worlds, uh, one family. Honestly, right, right, uh, the, the, the monkeys, the, 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 I thought, right, I thought a palm was kind of creepy, but I feel, I take that back now. <laughs> I would not want to meet, I would want to meet these. That's the whole point, monkeys, you want to... You know, hang out with, and you know. Do you? I. I mean, like. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to question you. There. You don't want to hang out with heartless. That's... No. No, that's the thing. Yeah. You, uh... I mean, the heartless. Really, you could even say are some kind of villain. Uh <laughs> Right. Anyway, we're going to oh, go. I'm off not looking now. forward to this one. Jeez. We're going to go and give our give our all to drawing these power wilds, and we'll be back in a minute. Well, 12 and a half minutes. And we are back. So we have just spent the last 12 and a half minutes doodling Power Wilds, and they've all, I am sure, turned out really well. So without further ado, let's start posting. So I can't remember what my first one looked like. Oh, yes. The first one I call Vortex Doll. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't like that. What's wrong? It just wants to give you a hug. Look, it's a happy little monkey. I, it looks like it's like a worm's eye view almost. Like it's looking down on you, like it's about to step on you. I, I quite don't like that at all. <laughs> it's uh, well, you know, fucking terrifying, Red. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm glad I could be of assistance. I uh, <laughs> it reminds me of something in a weird way. <laughs> Oh god, this this is gonna sound bad. There's this hentai called La Blue Girl, and it reminds oh, me. Oh of the god, mascot. no, no, call, cancel, cut you, stop. <laughs> no, it's gonna go on YouTube. Wait, no, Tom, tell, tell, tell me, tell me more about this, uh, this there hentai. Is, there is this, um, there's this side character kind of mascot called Nin Nin, who's like a really small ninja. And it looks like that. Okay. I'll... Put on screen. Put on screen. I will try to put on screen. Uh, I, I'll... <laughs> yeah, oh, there'll God. be a lot of... Uh... Yeah, well, there, there we are. I'm, I'm glad that my doodle looks like a hentai character. Uh... <laughs> right. Next one, I call Xbox the Mewtwo. Yeah, <laughs> I like I like that you were like I don't have time to do the all the details. Here's a red X. Well, exactly. Does it, the job. Yeah, it it works the same way. Um, I am a little bit kind of not proud of it because it didn't turn out great, but like it looks alright. It doesn't look like a power wild, but it looks like a like generic anime monkey. Hmm. I'd, I'd probably say that if I if someone handed me that as a bot, this I'll say, oh, it's it, it was it's one of them heartless from Kingdom Hearts. Oh. I'd be able to tell. I think it's good enough to tell. Thank you. And yeah, the the tail just turned out like Mewtwo's. Basically, I I didn't have didn't have any time to edit it. And my last one, I call when the moon hits your eyes. Like a big <laughs> goose. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. It's uh, now unfortunately the colours are, are a bit off. Obviously, it's it, it like it, it's meant to be a <laughs> gradient thing. He looks like he's wearing a um like a matching suit <laughs> or, or a onesie or a onesie or a jumpsuit. I appreciate his fashion choices. Yeah, I basically my original intention was to make him on t- like kind of that pose but on top of like a big stone structure and like maybe draw a few like a uh, shadow heartless around but i drew him too big and i was like oh whatever he's in the forest at night looking down at you so these these are like in the tarzan stage are they yeah so basically in yeah. kingdom hearts they're a heartless but they kind of adapt to their environment if that makes right. sense so so they sing two worlds, one family. Uh, uh, unfortunately, there's no there's no musical segment of the Tarzan one. There is of the Little Mermaid one, though. Oh, 
Castle Phil Collins. Collins. No. But, Good old um, Phil. But lots Good of Phil. playing a rhythm game as Mermaid Sora singing with Ariel. <laughs> Um, the thing is, the thing is, he didn't have to uh, do that soundtrack, you know. <laughs> but he went all in. He did. <laughs> there was a lot of heart in that soundtrack. Thank you, Phil fun. Collins. Yeah. Uh, and on that topic, I, Tom, I believe you went second last time, so we'll keep the tradition going. Oh, good God! All right. Uh, Power Wild, uh, thirty seconds. So hidden avoid. Um... Don't know what else to say. Oh, it's a pretty oh. terrible effort for thirty seconds, if I do say so. I I kind of it, like the, it is. Basic. You kind of got the face decent though. I think that that looks pretty cool. I think there's something about that, like you know, inside of the face shape that I find really hard to draw. So it's taken me far too long to do. I get you. Right. So the second one. Slight improvement. So, slight improvement in a void. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I mean, to be Got fair... colours on there. Yeah, it sort of... It does genuinely look like an improvement of the first one, as in, like, you didn't try going different or whatever. You started with the head again. And, like, yeah, that... I'd say that's a Power Wild. Like, if I yeah, saw that, I'd be I like, like, oh, yeah, that's that's Monkey Boy. I'm really... It's really hard, isn't it, to draw in this time. So, I guess the 10-minute one... Oh, I think he's kind of broken his foot, so... Broken foot, Power Wild. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. I like that, though. You've... Yeah. Uh, ooh, you've, hey, you've gone with some shading as well. Yeah, damn. That, that was an attempt in the beginning, and I gave up on it because I knew time was going to come, so... <laughs> I like it though. That's uh... it was good until <laughs> the feet. Oh my god! <laughs> I love his feet. His feet are my favorite part. <laughs> they look like slugs. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like it hurts every time he walks. Basically, yeah, he's like walking on. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't like. You, you know when you see pigeons out in the wild and like. Oh. And oh, sometimes the they're either missing toes or like an entire foot, and they're like, they're you know it it, it hurts to watch, but they've kind of just adapted to it. It looks like that. Oh God, yeah, like oh, I hate looking at pigeons now that you mention that. Uh, I remember I was in London once What's looking at pigeons' know? feet. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> Right, well, moving swiftly on, Tim, do you want to... No, uh, sorry, Dan, do you want to post next? Yeah, sure. I, I'll call this Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fucking grief. hell! I, that could be a titan. I, wow, I mean, I kind of like the perspective, not going to lie. Like, he's looking down on us. It's it's a big thing in this This one's down. outsider art. This is outsider I don't know, no, you haven't seen the next ones. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. Um, okay. I, I don't know. I, I um, this is the kind of thing. This is the kind of thing a parent would find that the um, <laughs> kid had drawn and would arrange therapy. Yeah, that's. <laughs> thank you, Dan. I do you want to do you want to show us what else you've drawn, and we'll have this therapy session together. Uh, I mean, sure, <laughs> sure, okay. Um, bear with. Right, this one's called Nightmare Fuel Two. Oh, oh, that's that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, that's bad, no. that's pretty damn damn good actually for like two minutes, especially. That's uh, yeah, that's kind of looks like a sloth. Yeah, I'd uh, like an angry sloth. I reckon him and my two minute guy are pals, basically. They're like yeah, uh, so. you know, uh, they don't really talk to Tom's one because he exists in an ethereal plane. <laughs> his, his head appears sometimes, but there's not much like they can interact with, really. Yeah, and and uh, do you know what? I'm going to throw this out there. I think this is one of the the wildest things I've ever done. Power wildest oh, in my wildest. life. In my life, oh, I, I did not. En- I did not enjoy this character at all. I was, I was going nowhere near, and then. Right, I'll call this Ultra Nightmare. 
Uh, oh. Gone. Oh. Good <laughs> grief. Wow. That, I, 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 I like the font. The font is pretty cool. <laughs> I, like, I like how in the bottom right corner you, you use a different font for duck. <laughs> than the rest of it. <laughs> 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 oh, good grief. I, I can just imagine, like, Kingdom Hearts, Hall of Mirrors, featuring Donald Duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, I, I was, I, I, I was, I, I was trying to have fun with it in the end, and I, I let my creative streak go, and... I the felt like crying blood. It's creative for sure. It got it got to the point where I felt like I I think the logic part of me went and the creative side just took over and I was like lost in those ten minutes and then I came back and now I'm here. Um, I would like I'd like to remind our viewers that uh, Dan. Dan, Dan's in an asylum. And, yeah, uh, we're, we're we're talking to him through one of those like you know the the phones that they have on the one way like glass partition that visitors have. Yeah, we've just piped that through basically onto the call. He, he paints in his spare time while he's there. But yeah, I legit no, I, I legit thought because I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna name it another Kingdom Hearts, right? But what should I call it? And I thought legit the most Kingdom Hearts sort of thing, you know. Because they have all these sort of weird. Um, uh, what are the name of the sequels? So you have. I know there's three hundred and sixty-seven and a half days over two. Uh, Birth yeah. by sleep, dream drop, distance. Yeah, there, there's lots. So I of... thought Hall of Mirrors. <laughs> yeah, that that works. Yeah. I like it. I I genuinely do think it's a. It's a creative output. You know. Th- thank you, Dan. Absolutely. I thought I would, you know, I would, I would pay to see uh, therapist or play Kingdom Hearts for oh. <laughs> All of Mirrors, and we went uh, you could see it now. All the there. Disney characters, and you know, they're all in the mirror world, and then there's like mirror versions of them. So as well of having Heartless, you've got also mirrored ones as well. It'd be a, mirrored I mean, one, you know. <laughs> Well, le- let's hope one day that becomes a real thing. That's all I can say. I'm really sorry. Guys. Let's hope not. Well, I'm really right. sorry. Right, moving swiftly on, Tim. What's your what's your what's your thirty second one? Please, just just. Hello. So um, I call my thirty second one when you walk away. Ah, oh, that's that's really cute. Actually, that it looks like um, yeah. a heartless banana peel, basically. Hmm. I can see it. I, I did not do the face properly, but I tried. You you tried on uh, thirty seconds. That's a pretty good face for thirty seconds. Uh, my second one, I call. You don't hear me say. Oh, oh that's good. That's Yo, good. Fucking I, I hell, really Tim! Like two minutes. That's dude. Ap- I'm getting uh, these two minute ones down. Cause yeah. I just don't worry about detail. Apart from the colours, like literally a real nitpick. You know, sort of like if you'd coloured this in. That could genuinely be like an a uh, profile picture, like avatar for someone on the Kingdom Hearts forum. That's that's yeah. really good. I think you're going to annoy a lot of people with that statement, right? Well, uh, <laughs> look, if there's one thing I know of the Kingdom Hearts uh, fan base, they're not obsessive and they don't uh, get too into things. Mm. <laughs> uh, my third one, I call. Please, oh baby, don't go. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. oh no! Well, oh, no. look, he had good a good night, life. Sweet prince. <laughs> he oh. he had a good life, but uh, he's bas- gone on to the door to darkness. Basically, he's he, gone to the door to darkness. He wouldn't heal. <laughs> uh, he kept just refusing to fucking heal. Goofy, Jesus Christ, heal hey, everyone! Goofy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Goofy doesn't heal. He physically oh, can't. Donald supports the healing, Donald and heal. Donald was off. Um, Donald got dragged in to do Kingdom Hearts Four, Hall of Mirrors, so he wasn't around. <laughs> also, Red, read the room. Goofy has died. I'm oh, sorry. It's, uh... Come on! Yeah, I'm not having you bad mouthing Goofy. Good grief! It's Donald. We should be bad mouthing. Look, look out for um, 
Duck December coming soon, where we draw. <laughs> just going to say, ducks. Donald's a bit of a prick, to be honest. I'm just going to put it out there. Oh, flaking the mods, Tom. Then you'll understand. Yeah, you know, not a bit of a dick. He's a massive dick. He's in been to a lot. Um, Donald Duck is massive out there. Like when I was in Norway, I was in a lot of shops, and a lot of the comics out there are Donald Duck. Do Going really back like to Tim's Donald piece, uh, I I really like it, Tim. I, I like the, uh, the, I like the the sort of like the power wild looks like he's ascended, like all the yellow parts are just glowing, <laughs> and he's like, like a, yeah, like a god or a genie. Yeah, he's like goofy. Sort. You would not understand the true ascension us monkey, n- monkey heartless can it attain. <laughs> He's about to go through the door to darkness to get his soul and heart back to yes. become no one, and then he's going to close the door and seal the keyblade. Yeah. yeah, yes, he's about to get his keyblade, which would just be uh, a big totally banana. Canon. Basically, uh, it's totally can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, can't wait for Kingdom Hearts Four. It's going to be featuring Donald Duck. It's going to be memorable. <laughs> I think is uh, is one word. <laughs> right. Well, that has left me speechless. But it, we still have time to slide in to our final segment of Draw Toys. That is the awards. If everyone can just Ooh. clap. And uh... Uh, right, so as with before, we have three awards to dish out. So let's not uh, spare any more time and let's go straight into it. So the first one is Most Creative. So this is for a piece that you think kind of, you know, made it made it its own kind of thing. You know, he didn't just copy the picture on the screen. So we'll go away and defer and we'll come back with the result. I'm going to go with there's Dan's no, there's Power no, Wild. There's no argument. Dan's Power it's Wild. Dan's Power Wild. All right. There's nothing Dan, to discuss. I think uh, creative is the nicest <laughs> the nicest thing we can say about this piece. And I would definitely hang it on the fridge, but not in my own house. <laughs> I'd, I'd hang it in the fridge of someone I was babysitting for, knowing that the parents won't be back for like two hours and I've really got to leave. So, you know. It's an honour. Thank you. Right. Well, next up is Most Improved. So this is the piece that has most improved from the 30-second piece to the two-minute piece. So yet again, we'll go off and discuss. I would say Rid's Power Wild. I'm going to go with Dan's Apom. I'm going to go with your Power Wild, Rid. I am going to go for... Rid's Power Wild. Okay. Hey, hey, there we are. Uh, more monkey applause and ooks. Um, right, and so the last one, the You Tried Award uh, for the derpiest drawing or the, you know, ones that definitely give it an attempt. If um, if there's none that come to mind, though, we can give it a skip. Yeah, there's none that really come to come to mind really in terms of ones that are bad can i can i vote for myself you, you can i you don't know vote. i i might vote for tom's power world simply because of the feet <laughs> <laughs> the fucking slug feet <laughs> it's uh well so personally i i can't think of anything uh and uh, tom do you have any thoughts no i can't think of any okay i think uh so we've We've had a discussion, and none of them really stand out as uh, particularly derpy artwork. So, this episode... Hold on. Hold on. I clearly voted for Tom's derpy feet power wild. Am I getting suppressed? (laughs) Well, yeah, I mean, there's no... We'd need a unanimous decision, basically. You uh... escaped this time, Tom. Yeah. Mm. Uh... I'm I'm not getting that award again. So, Not again. I want it on record. I want it on record. So Tim casts his vote, but unfortunately we did not really uh, reach 
enough for the um Nothing it's another quarter. Basically, this is the opposite equivalent to an absolute banger from Listen Toys. Uh, it needs to have a 75% backing to be considered bad. Draw Toys <laughs> drama. But yeah, well, that's, uh, that has been quite a journey tonight. I think we've drawn some interesting monkeys. Uh, they've both... You know, they've both very much provided us with some very interesting pieces of artwork that, especially with Dan's Power Wild, will stay in our minds and our dreams for the un- oncoming days, weeks and months. Uh, thank you all very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always. That's all right. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and thank you all for watching. This is the last Monkey Madness March special of Draw Toys, but... Don't be worried because the monkeys that we didn't use in this one will go into the general draw toys pool, so there's still a chance that your favourite monkey will appear next time. And until next time, goodbye.